Hey there, what's going on? In this video, we will learn about maps in C++. Now, map is not a map of any country. It actually stores key value pair. So let's get started. And to uh, discuss about map, the best example is suppose you want to store uh, salary of different persons and then you want to find out salary of any person by using the name. So name will be here the key and you can consider salary as the value. So you can store this key value pair in a map. So in order to use the map in C++, first make sure that you, you have imported this uh, bit slash std c++ h. Otherwise, if you are just importing all the header files separately, just import this map. All right. Now I need not to import map again. Now in order to use map, in between this angular braces, first we need to mention the data type of the key. Uh, so as we are going to store uh, the name and their salaries, so key will be simply string and the salary will be float or double. Uh, let's say this is float. All right, let's name it as S. Now initially the map is empty. Now if we want to map a salary for any person, just use this name of this map and in this square braces just write down the value of the key. Let's say that I want to store my salary which is equals to 20,000 and I'm gonna store a couple of bunch of other salaries of Al Albert which is 30,000 uh, Edward which ha who has a salary of 40,000. All right. Now, in order to retrieve any value from this map, let's say that I want to print what is the salary of uh, Albert. Then again, I can refer to that value using by writing the key uh, in between this uh, square braces. Let's try to see what happens. Uh, it has returned 30,000. That's fine. But what happens if you want to iterate all the sad, all the names, all the key value pairs from this map? For that, we should have to use iterators. So in the previous video, I discussed about iterators. Iterators are some kinds of pointer which points to a particular value. Now, in order to use the iterator, first we should have to write uh, what is a type of map, which is string to float. And then after the scope resolution operator, write down iterator it and then we should always initialize the iterator by some some pointer so we will start iterating the map from the beginning so we will be writing s dot begin so initially it, it's pointing to beginning now using a for loop i can write something like this uh, i should not initialize it but it sh not equals to s dot end and then it plus plus I can increment this iterator now then if I and if it's gonna point to each each of the key value pair now each of the key value pair has two things one is the first uh, first uh, or the key another one is the value if you want to um, get the address of this key then you should use uh, uh, it then this uh, this is actually a dereference operator. As it's a pointer, we cannot use dot operator with this it. Now then, I should give first. It will return the value of the, uh, the of the key. So first is basically uh, this key. And if I want to get the value of this key, what what kind of value it's mapping? Uh, then I should use. Let's give a little bit comma right here, and then uh, it. Then this. Uh, a D reference operator this arrow operator then second so second one is basically uh, uh, the value of that uh, the value that the key is mapping to now let's try to run this code it's, it has thrown an exception okay so this should be a semicolon let's try to run this again you can see it has written all the things the first is actually this key and second is actually this um, this uh, what you call the value now instead of using iterator we could have been done this using on um, range based for loop so for that i should just use this auto i it in the name of the map after this colon sign and then i 
for, for in this case I can use simply this dot operator it should be it dot uh, okay now let's try to run this code and let's try to see what happens yeah it has done the same thing so that's it in the next video I will be discussing about multi map in C++ thanks for watching this video